Hey everyone, this is Nico Ernstro from the Central Foundation and in this video we're going to keep looking at smart items and in this case we're going to see how we can make any item smart. So this is where things get really fun. This is where we open the floodgates and really let your imagination go wild. So up until now we've seen how you can, you know, import any one of the assets that belong to the smart assets category and you can do a lot of things with these but I'm going to show you now how you can actually do the same kind of thing with any of the items that you have here in the gallery or even like you can import your own 3d models if you're a 3d modeler like you can make your own and like, go wild with it um so in this case let's like do something pretty simple let's add crystal and let's like put this crystal in enchanted woods so that when you pick it up the door opens so first of all, I'm going to configure this door as we did in previous videos so that um, it doesn't open on its own so that you can't just click on it to open it. Um, remember that door has four trigger events. Um, two of them have to do with clicking on the door to op either open or close it. And we're going to get rid of those two trigger events so that it only has the trigger events that have to do with reacting to the changes in the state of the door. We want to change the state of the door. So let's come back to the crystal that I just added and let's look for it here on the menu on the left. Um, since it was the last one I added, then it's the last one on the list. So that was easy. Um, so I will do a right click and notice that here we have an add component option, which lets me add any component that I want to this item. So I can give it an actions component, the triggers component, the states component, or any kind of thing that I want. And that just you know, lets me make anything smart. So for example, I can add an actions component and I can add an action. And let's say, for example, that I give it a action that I call pick up. And these are all of the things I can do. I can do a bunch of things. I can't, you know, besides, you know, playing sounds, I can do a whole lot of other things that I'm not gonna, co not gonna cover all of them right now. But for example, I can set the visibility of the item to invisible and yes set the physics to disabled so in this way when i pick up the when i click on the crystal i want it to disappear simulating that i picked it up um, let's add another action for um, playing a sound and in this case let's look for our own sound let's look for something that um, you know represents the some kind of a magical sparkling sound. And I looked for something here on freesound.org. This, by the way, is a great resource for, for finding free audio samples. There's a lot of stuff and like really, I use it all the time for these kind of things. It's super useful. So that's what it sounds like. It, it's pretty much what I'm looking for. So I'm going to download it and upload it into my scene. So yes, downloading it from freesound and now back in my scene, oh, sorry, back in my scene, I will um, click here in this plus sign to upload the asset into my scene. So here I have my .wav file, I will import it, and now I have my file here in my scene folder. This is it. So I can drag it right into the path here and that's it. Um, I'm already allowing my, um, my brand new smart item to play this sound. Now, these are the actions on my, on my item. What I want to do now is give it a trigger component so that I can call those actions when I click on the item. So I will add a new trigger component and it will be an on click trigger component and I will select the blue crystal so that it plays both the pickup action and again the blue crystal so that it plays the sound action. So with this I should be able to pick up the crystal. Oh sorry.
we go. The sound had a little bit of a delay because the scene was still loading, but it worked as I wanted it. So the, the other next thing I want to do is I want to um, make the picking of the crystal um, also open my door. So I can just add another one of these actions here and reference this door number two, which is the one on this side. And yeah, run the open action. So if I run preview of the scene again, I should now open the door whenever I pick up the crystal. There we go. Great. Um, now let's take this a step further. Let's um, take this item that is already smart, this door number two, and let's give it a new component that it didn't have before. Let's give it a counter component. And this is a, one component we haven't seen before, but basically this allows me to keep track of a number. Um, it, in this case, it starts in zero. And I want to increase this counter every time I pick up a crystal and open the door when I pick up all crystals. So basically I want to change this behavior so that instead of picking picking up a single crystal opens the door, I want to have several of these crystals scattered and only open the door when all of the crystals have been picked up. So first of all, let's um, take the, the crystals trigger action and remove um, the, or rather change the fact that instead of opening the door, um, let's um, increase the counter of the um, of the door. So first of all, we're going to have to create an action on a door. So yes, I'm going to create a new action and I will call it increase. And in this action, I am going to increment the counter. And that's it. With this, I'm going to raise the number on the counter by one every time that I um, you know, call that action. So now I'm able to call this action, this, um, where is it? This increase action from my crystal. So again, when I'm clicking on the crystal, besides doing the things that, that are, you know, the crystal's own, action, own actions, I'm going to call the door too and call the increase action so that the counter on the door increases. And now I can make copies of this smart item. I can do duplicate and this, this new copy of my item is going to already have all of its configuration um, copied from the other one. And in fact, um, yeah, all of the, the actions that have to do with the item itself will also reference itself. So when I pick up one, th this particular crystal, it's going to hide this particular crystal. When I pick up this other crystal, it's going to hide this other crystal. So let's add three of these just to keep it relatively light and not be it's too much of a time consuming thing. Um, so now I'm increasing the counter of the door every time I pick up a crystal. What I now have to do is react to that um, increment of the counter. Because so far um, I'm just storing a number on the door and that number is not meaning anything so far. So what I have to do is add a new new trigger event and instead of doing this an on click trigger event i'm not going to react to an on click um, event i'm going to react to an on counter change event so every time that the value of this door's counter changes i am going to do an action but so that we're not doing this action every or every time we pick up a crystal i'm going to add a condition and in this condition I am going to reference the door itself and counter equals three. So now I'm only going to do an action if the counter has incremented and that new value of the counter is three. And when that happens, I want to open the door. So with this now, I should be able to pick up all three crystals and the door will open when all three crystals have been picked up. So I'm going to pick up one crystal, 
another one, and when I pick up the third one, I should see the door open. There we go. Great. All right, that's all I wanted to share in this video. I hope that was useful to you and fun, and hope you to see you in more of these videos.